Hello everybody, welcome back to a Nervous Reviews book where we review The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. So, today, we got this baby book and we're gonna like try to deconstruct it because that's what I do in these reviews. When I read a book, you know, I don't really read to see the magic systems or to see the characters, although those are like very interesting, but to me the main thing of every single book is what I learn from it, what I can deconstruct out of this book, what I can pull into my brain to make myself smarter. And this book has been one of the best books I've ever read for that particular topic. Most notably, it is considered by the author himself to not be a fantasy book, but a book about self-help. And uh, this is considered a fable, and it's a very interesting fable because I've never really read a fable on its own for the sake of reading a fable before. But because I heard this, this book was about uh, self-help and specifically about uh, achieving your own destiny, I thought that this would be a very interesting read because of just the current position I'm in in life. And it was really a very interesting, marvelous read. So I'm going to go ahead and review this in just five minutes. Simply put, the most striking part of this is the thematic messages. Now, there's so much to unpack here. Reading this book, there's so many interwoven thematic ideas that are just blowing me away because often you don't find many thematic ideas in a work of art at all. It's very rare to even find something like this. And if you find something with thematic uh, purpose in it, it's very difficult to find a very large amount. And if you do find a large amount, probably they're all going to be very weak thematic concepts. However, in this book, it's very incredible how, how richly they're developed because they're not just thrown in there. They're really hammered in through every possible angle. There are absolutely tons of ideas specifically about knowing yourself, about this world that is trying to achieve your success with you about yourself trying to achieve your success and not going off on any tangents about what you truly value in life there are so many incredibly interesting concepts the issue with most of these concepts however is that they're not particularly original i just think that they're very well done and they're original enough they're different enough that this book can in, in itself become one of an, an instant classic essentially this is one of the best selling books in the world ever so for for good reason too these ideas are very well fleshed out although not particularly original they are done really well and they're really shown well throughout the fable. Usually you go into a fable and you kind of read it and it doesn't mean anything until you try to make it mean something. And then when you make it mean something, you acquire some sort of meaning out of it. This book kind of just directly tells you the meaning. It's like if there was a fable and there's like this thematic meaning and they kind of just tell you like, yes, this is the thematic meaning. This is what this person has achieved. Good luck on your own life now. That's sort of what this book is kind of doing. It's very blunt with all of its thematic stuff, stuff that I would assume would be considered to be a very important uh, thing to keep subtle, you know? Stuff like, this is particularly about following your own destiny and about how the world can interact with you. Particularly that, because that's a very heavily implied theme throughout the entire thing. However, there's so many points where it goes beyond heavily implied and where they just like straight up tell you, you know, the world wants you to succeed when it might be more fitting if it was a little bit more subtle, a little bit more artistic in my opinion. Now if I want to move over to the actual story side of things, we get a little bit more iffy. So if you've seen on Goodreads, I have rated this book four stars, meaning that I think it's an absolutely fabulous book. It's a really, really, really strong book. However, I didn't give it five stars. This book as a book in itself is not exactly engaging. They kind of jump from thing to thing. Whereas in a fable, that's totally cool. That makes sense because it's very direct and succinct with what it wants to tell. But here it's trying to tell a full story while also trying to tell us these themes. And so both of these things going on at the same time make it feel very sluggish. But at the same time, the story is very, you know, it jumps from one place to another and it seems to have no direction at many times. But the entire time, you know, they kind of talk about this one thing that the, the person's trying to achieve, but they kind of jump back and forth and they do long things for long periods of time that have very little, little relevance to the main overall chink story. So stuff like that does make me wonder, you know, is this author trying to make a book that would be a very modern, modernized classic book, or is he trying to make a classical fable? Because these two things are very different with, how, with what they develop specifically and how they develop them and it seems he's trying to meet them in the middle and it doesn't completely work out and one last thing I want to mention is that the themes in this book uh, I didn't particularly agree with many of them I do find like of course I've lived my own life and I've had my own concepts of what uh, journeys and personal dreams and personal you know legends should be about and like how you achieve them and it doesn't particularly align with my worldview so it's not exactly a book that I would 
love to read you know it doesn't exactly make me feel like wow this is really empowering to my own to my own mindset but at the same time I'm not going to hark on it because it is a very interesting mindset on its own so that's gonna be all my, for my review uh, you guys have seen my four star review and it is a great book it's a fantastically interesting book however I think that the way it's told is very weird it, it doesn't really make sense for the modern audience so that's gonna be it for my review uh, thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoy fantasy stuff if you enjoy Stephen King if you enjoy any kind of fiction go ahead take a look at my channel I post a lot of reviews I post a lot of fantasy I post a lot of fiction overall if you like anything please subscribe and at the same time if you did enjoy this video if you did enjoy my review please hit the like button down below let me know if you why you liked it let me know if you like the review if you like the book anything at all i'd love to engage with conversation with you guys in the comments down below so that's all for today i'll see you in the next video goodbye